Okay, so we've got on this part, we've got a domed end. So what's the best way to create that? So I'll very quickly just create a demonstration part for you. Um, so let's go back to here. Um, in fact, here's one I made earlier. Um, so let's have a look at that. Let's just let's just roll that back. So, oops, a daisy. No, don't want to add the feature appearance. So, as I said before, we start with the solid block of material. Okay, so I'm not I'm not doing this to scale. I'm not paying much attention to the drawing. I'm I'm showing the method rather than the the accuracy of it. Okay, so we select an end face for our sketch plane, um, n normal to sketch plane. We pick our circle. We draw our circle like that. We say tick. So we've drawn our circle on our face. Then we can do an extrude, remove. We say blind because we're going to give it a, dif a distance. Faces or sketch regions to extrude. So we click on the space between the two circles because that's the, the region we want to extrude. We don't want to extrude the middle bit. We don't want to remove, sorry, the middle bit. We want to remove the outside bit. Yeah, just, you know, if, if we were doing this in, in reality, we'd be doing it on a lathe. You know, we'd be, we'd be turning this on a lathe. So let's let's just put, I know this isn't what the drawing says. Like I said, I'm just doing a very quick uh quick demonstration. So how do we put the dome on the end? Okay, so we put the dome on the end. Uh, we do another sketch. Okay, so um, that's fine. We'll do that on the right plane, um, normal to sketch plane. So we'll zoom in so we, we can see what we're doing. And what we'll do is we're going to draw a circle. Okay, uh, and I'm just going to move down to here. I've, I've, I've selected my circle. I did this to me yesterday. I've selected my circle and Come on, come on. What's going on? I've selected my circle. Sketch front plane, okay. I've selected my circle. Hmm, what's going on here? No idea. Right, I've selected my circle and I've moved to the origin point there. And then can you see as I move up, we get that dotted line and there's that little uh, vertical line just next to my cursor. That's the little cross. Uh, and that says that I'm constraining this vertically. So um, when I draw my circle, the center point will be always vertically above the origin. And, and the origin there is in, is in the middle of, of our part. Okay, so we, we've locked that. Yeah. Okay. So what does that mean? Well, it means I can move, move, move that circle up and down, but I can't move it left or right anymore because uh, of that vertical constraint. You can see when we hover over, it tells us what that vertical constraint is. And I can hover over that, um, I can hover over the eye, uh, the, the vertical line, sorry. And you can see it's highlighting um, where it's constrained to. Right. So now it's not black yet, isn't that our circle? Because we've not, we've not constrained it fully. So like when you were doing AutoCAD, you did uh, snap to tangent. We're going to do something similar in Onshape. We're going to use one of the constraints. So we're going to constrain the circle there tangentially. Okay. Now in your drawing, so that means that that, that circle is is tangent to that line there. Yeah. Uh, and it doesn't matter how big or small we make that circle, it's always going to be a tangent. We can see that. Okay. Uh, obviously, in your drawing, you've got a, 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 a dimension. So we'll just um, that's 17. Again, I'm, I'm not sticking to the drawing. I'm just running this as an example. Uh, and then what we do then is we just make the cutting tool. Essentially, this is the this is the cut that we want to make. We want to take out that that corner. Yeah, that, that I've drawn over. Now we could stick those those blue lines. Um, we could put them on the lines of the part. But what tends to happen is that when we get to this corner, um, this corner here, we get an infinitely thin cut and the, the model fails. So if we just make our cut bigger, um, a bit oversize, um, then that doesn't happen. Um, so what I usually do is I trim out the circle. You don't, you don't have to. On shirts, quite happy for the circle to remain there. 
Um, but that's going to be our cut. Okay. So you can see we've got that shape there. And that's going to be our cutting tool. I'm going to revolve cut. Faces and sketch regions to revolve. So that's it. It says revolve axis. So we click revolve axis. And then we select that vertical line. That's what we're going to spin it around. And we, oh, we don't want to add. We want to remove. Okay. And you can see we've got that dome effect there. Let me just, obviously we want it full. But just for explanation, just to kind of show what's going on. Yeah, and you can see as we move it around with a little bit of de delay, we're just making that, that shaped cut all the way around. Okay. Yeah, so hopefully that, that clarifies how we do that. Okay. And that's how we put the end on there. Just a, a quick point. We've got a, a, a domed end on there. This one is obviously 8 millimeters radius. Look at the arrow. It only goes halfway. It doesn't go all the way through. So that's 8 millimeters radius, 16 millimeters diameter. Um, whereas we go to this drawing, and it just says radius the end, but it doesn't give a dimension. So that's because that would be a, a finishing machining technique where we just, uh, certainly on a, a manual lathe, we would just go in with a file and just use the file, uh, rock the file backwards and forwards over the end, just to just to take off the sharp edge uh, and just just put the dome on it, um, and that, that's not specified. It's just to, so you know put a, quite a large diameter circle in there, ju and you know, ju just to put the radius on on that end. Okay. Um, anything else that's coming up here? No, that that's just a straight cylinder. This is two drawings. Just in case you were you you were getting confused, um, that's the the little handle that you you spin around. Uh, and that's the bit that got the, that's, that's right, let's try that again, you can't see my mouse. That's the handle that you spin around to turn the vise. Um, that's the bit that goes on the end. Okay, so that's that's hollow in the middle, drilled out, and just slots on to this bit here. Okay, I'll show you that in the three-dimensional model in just a moment. But they're, they're actually two parts. Okay, and we can tell the cylindrical because we've got this diameter sign here and that should you know automatically be thinking circles and cylinders okay again we've got the diameter sign there okay um, and then getting back to the M and D uh, so the merit and distinction we're going from a five part assembly to a seven part assembly so this is the little clamp for the table uh, we need to use um, sheet metal modeling for this and that's going to be my very next video okay and over here Um, you'll notice that this is different from the original drawing in that we've now got a slot. Um, we've now got a slot. Can I zoom in any further on that? And then will it let me pan? Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oops, it's, we've now got a slot there. Yeah, 12 millimeters, 15 millimeters, 37.5, 87.5. We've got that slot in the middle. Okay, and that's so that we can um, have that little desk clamp in there so let's just let's just flick back to that there we are there's our vice drop i've already got that open no i've not yes i have to smile, is it? yes okay um so if we just have a quick look at the assembly seven part assembly uh, there it is yeah so we need to need to put the slot in so we can so we can put that in there like that. Okay, just slides in there. Um, and then you know, the, the, the drawing that had two parts on, uh, there's one part, all that, and then uh, our second part is is the, the little bit that just sits, sits on the end there. Okay. Um, and I'm going to stop there, and hopefully that should answer any questions. So the next video, we'll look at how to make uh, how to make this part here. Uh, it's really, really tricky. It's not. It's dead easy. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, bye.